How did the banks get so messed up? We are going to tell you now, this is Dave, he owns a bank. He has 100 pounds. Joe and Mary ask Dave for a loan, 100 pounds, so they can have a good night out. Dave agrees and loans them the 100 pounds. They pay their 100 pounds to Jameson after a night in his restaurant. Jameson sees Dave to deposit 100 pounds. Dave thanks him and accepts the 100 pounds. Mr. Jones, a local engineer, says he wants 100 pounds. Dave loans him 100 pounds. This is the same 100 pounds that was loaned to Joe and Mary. Mr. Jones pays Michael 100 pounds for a TV. Michael sees Dave and deposits 100 pounds. Dave says thank you and accepts the money. Dave now has 100 pounds to loan out. Now one day Michael and Jameson both ask for their 100 pounds. But Dave only ever had 100 pounds, and he owes them 100 pounds each. Dave ponders the question. Dave decides to ask the government for a loan. But the government does not have 100 pounds. So instead the government gives Dave a note for 100 pounds and says that it is as good as money. Dave pays Jameson and Michael 100 pounds each telling them the note is as good as money. Dave was very happy, Michael was happy, and so was Jameson. There was only 100 pounds to start with, and now Michael and Jameson both have 100 pounds to spend. In this example, 100 pounds of bank money generated 200 pounds of trade. In reality it can generate 2000 pounds of trade. The entire system therefore depends on the proposal that people will accept notes as equivalent to actual money. If the notes are credible the system can work.